All right. Hello, class. Professor Anderson here. Let's talk a, lot, a little bit about a problem that you will likely never have in your life. Okay. But, I don't know, maybe you will someday, but it's probably unlikely. Let's say that you are in outer space and you find yourself floating next to the International Space Station. Okay, so you've probably seen the movie Gravity, right? Pretend that here is the International Space Station. There's the solar panels on the International Space Station. You were outside the International Space Station and you were working with some tools, okay? And all of a sudden, something happens, and you float away, and you're not tied to the International Space Station. Okay, and here you are floating around. Okay, you're not very happy about that. You've got a big wrench in your hand because you were working on the International Space Station. And you floated away, and then you bumped into something, and you came to a stop. And now you're just floating motionless. And let me ask you a question. If I am floating in space, motionless relative to the International Space Station, and I want to get back, how do I do it? How do I get back from where I am to the International Space Station? Yeah. OK, Ms. Franklin, let me ask you a question. How do I get back to the International Space Station Space Station, if I am floating in space and it's over there? Throw the wrench as hard as you can in the opposite direction. Aha. Let's take the wrench and let's throw it in the opposite direction. Okay. Here goes the wrench off in that direction. What's going to happen if I do that? Hold, hold the mic for a second. We'll have a little conversation. <laughs> I throw the wrench in that direction. What happens? Um, the wrench should push you, get you moving towards the International Space Station. Aha. Uh -huh. Why? Because when you throw the wrench, the force that you put in throwing the wrench is, comes back at you and pushes you the opposite way. Exactly right. Okay, there's something happens right in this region here where I've thrown the wrench, which is Newton's third. If there's a force in that way, there has to be an equal and opposite force in the other direction. So this is exactly the right answer. If you're floating outside the International Space Station and you have something in your hand that you can throw, throw it exactly opposite where you want to go. It's going to push you in that direction. This idea of equal and opposite forces is, of course, Newton's third. Right? If I push on the wrench to throw it in that direction, the wrench is going to push on me to go in the other direction. And this leads to a very powerful principle in physics, which is conservation of momentum. Thank mm -hmm. you.